This video covers some of the key new features found in the latest release of Performance Manager, version 2.5. The new Daylight Mode feature brings enhanced visibility to the Performance Manager graphical interface when used in bright outdoor conditions. When switched on, all key interface elements of Performance Manager are updated to reflect the new high contrast color scheme. Daylight Mode can be turned on or off at any time from the Applications Options panel without having to restart the application. Improved Zoom Functionality The keyboard spacebar can now be used to activate the Zoom function in Performance Manager. First, drag to select an object, then tap the spacebar to activate the Auto Zoom function. Tapping the spacebar a second time returns the view to display the entire venue. This process can be used to quickly enlarge any part of the venue, making working with large venue files much easier. Note that on the touch-enabled Windows 10-based devices, multi-touch gestures like pinch to zoom can be used to navigate the venue. Bandpass selection. The combination of holding the control button while clicking can now be used to select multiple objects like bandpasses in an array. Holding down the Shift button while clicking enables the selection of multiple band passes in a circuit or multiple circuits in an array. An entire array can be selected by first selecting the top left corner followed by the lower right corner. This method can be used when assigning speakers to amplifiers. First, select the array, then drag and drop the entire array onto an amplifier rack. The same thing can be done to disconnect an array from an amplifier rack. First, select the array, and then click the disconnect button. Reload factory presets. Factory speaker presets are always stored within the Performance Manager venue file. This ensures system consistency regardless of the Performance Manager version used. Factory speaker presets are sometimes updated to introduce improvements and performance upgrades. For example, most recently, many of the VTX speaker presets were updated in Performance Manager version 2.3. If a venue file that was created in a version prior to 2.3 was reused, the older version of the presets would have been used. Because of this, we often ask our users to rewrite their venue files to ensure that the latest and greatest speaker presets are used. With Performance Manager 2.5, this is no longer necessary. To update the speaker presets to the latest version, simply open your Performance Manager venue file, navigate to the Set Speaker Presets page, and click the new Reload Presets button. This will update all the speaker presets without having to rewrite the venue file. All user-adjustable parameters, such as user EQ or delay settings, remain unaffected. Input Selection Improvements Previously, Input Selection in Performance Manager has been constrained to the array level. For example, we can navigate to the Select Input Sources page, set an array to Analog Input 1, which sets all amplifier channels driving that array to receive input from Analog Input 1. While this is effective for most cases, there are instances where selecting different inputs for different parts of an array is necessary. Such an example is subwoofers flown as the top part of a main array. A new circuit input source function has been added to the Select Input Sources mode that allows for selecting separate inputs for each array circuit. To do that, first select Circuit Input Sources, and then click on each circuit group to select the inputs. Repeating Array Template Version 2.5 includes a new repeating array template that offers a new set of features that can speed up the design time of a venue file. As the name implies, the repeating array template is ideal for situations where a lot of repetitive tasks are necessary. For example, if 12 identical arrays are needed, using the new repeating array template, one array is built while Performance Manager creates the rest of the arrays automatically. 
To use the repeating template, first, select the number of arrays to be used, and then drag and drop the templates into the venue workspace. The software then displays an option menu for selecting which array features are grouped and mirrored across all the arrays and which are independent. From this point on, all functions are grouped and mirrored as per the selection. When speakers are selected for the first array, all other arrays are populated automatically. The same goes for configuration and amplification options. For a more in-depth look of the repeating array template, please look at the deep dive video examples on this feature. Line Array Calculator Integration Improvements Performance Manager version 2.5 includes improved integration of both Line Array Calculator version 2 and the newest version 3. Arrays created in both versions of the calculator can be imported into Performance Manager, which can save a significant amount of design time. To import a Line Array Calculator file into Performance Manager, first choose the appropriate system template and then navigate to the Add Speakers page. Highlight the array container and then click on the Line Array Calculator button. Select the Line Array Calculator file and then click Open. This can be a Line Array Calculator file generated in Line Array Calculator version 2 or version 3. Repeat these steps to import all necessary arrays. Additionally, Line Array Calculator files can now be imported on existing arrays, which allows for resizing and reconfiguring arrays without breaking the speaker to amplifier associations or the system groups. To reconfigure an existing array, navigate to the Add Speakers mode and then click on the Line Array Calculator button. Select a Line Array Calculator file and then click OK. At this point, Performance Manager imports the file resizes the array, and updates the DSP parameters, all without breaking the amplifier associations. This works especially well for Turing applications where the day starts with a pre-configured Performance Manager file that contains the entire inventory carried on the tour. The system engineer can then import the Line Array Calculator files of the day, at which point Performance Manager reconfigures the system without having to start from scratch. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please check out the rest of our videos and tutorials on our YouTube channel.